It's been a long while getting here, but we're finally going to round out my look at the KO Beast Wars offerings that I have with, I think, the absolute best of the bunch by way of my KO K9. He's going to be our focus this time around in the latest Got By True review. Hey, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you are at it, light up my baby. Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton, and it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All of that is in the description down below, and also in the description down below. And if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we have to offer to you through Spring, or of course hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. And this is a KO of K9. Some people thought it was a KO of Wolfgang, but the coloration and stuff would really lend itself more to uh, being K9. The head, I'm not sure about. I think in the actual review, I say that it might be the Wolfgang head. However, it may also be the uh, mutant mask head. I'm not really sure. It's not the regular robot head for K9. I know that. Nevertheless, the colors largely match that guy. I said that this guy's probably the best of the KO bunch, and we've looked at a lot. Most of them came from Beast Wars Neo, such as Mac Kick and... Um, Long Rack and Break and Stampy, but we also had Saberback, who I think is a Predacon from Neo, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we had an Air Razor a long time ago. Uh, who else have we had? Um, Lyo Jr., that was a long time ago as well, and... Pfft, even T-Rex. But of them all, and some of them are okay, some of them are not so good. Gilladart. I forgot Gilladart too. Some of them not so good. This guy I think is the best of the bunch. Why? Well, we're about to find out when we head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And yes, indeed, we round out the last of our Montoy KO Beast Wars offerings with this guy. Some people have mistakenly called this guy a KO of Wolfgang. It's not. It's actually a, the extensive remold that became known as K9. And his alt mode is a German Shepherd. And you know what? That sort of still fits here, to be honest with you. He was released uh, in 1997 as part of the fourth wave of Deluxes. I think it might have been even the second year of Beast Wars. So, like, this is a character that wasn't on the show, but that did get a Beast Wars release uh, in that era. It was one of those that, like there were a lot of characters that did not actually appear on the show, but that got releases and K9 was one of them. Not what I had, but you know what? For a $3 KO, I'm cool with it, man. So let's talk very briefly about the way that this guy looks in this mode, uh, because I think this mode is actually really successful, honestly. We have the uh, black going along his back, uh, as well as up right here. Now, it should be sort of faded more down um, on this part of the leg, I suppose. Then the back legs here, we do have the fading on the back, but it should be more swept out around the front. That said, this is still pretty darn good. The tail has the, the black and the fading on it. Uh, again, maybe some fading, you know, down on this side. It's not perfect, but it's quite, quite good. Uh, if we turn the guy so we can see his face, I can tell you now there is more black on the forehead. Or, I can't say more black. There's fading on the actual one. But on this one, like, it's a solid black here and on the nose. Uh, but the blue eyes are accurate. They're supposed to be blue. So I think this is a pretty respect, respectable take on the character of K9, at least in this mode. We'll see about the other one when we get there. In fact, without any further ado, how about we work on getting uh, to that other alt mode? First thing to do is probably start by trying to take off the back piece, which admittedly is a little bit of a chore once it's in, and where it's a KO, like I don't want to pull up on it too much. I try to kind of wiggle it out, to be honest with you. <sighs> Yeah, there we go. So this is 
really the same thing as the official. Um, we would turn it around. Now, the official has a handle on the back here um, that he's able to hold. This handle, I believe. Uh, so, this time around, instead of the back showing out, you would put this handle in his hand and you'd have this side showing out. Also, you'll notice that this is painted black uh, with the orange color in here. The official one is actual black. So, his shield is still there, but now it's going to go turn around to have the furry side out. We're going to lay that aside for now. Then we can also remove the tail. Uh, the tail... I guess the handle's still here, like it would still work the same way. However, we don't have the projectile. Um, so, you know, not, not a big deal. A little bit unfortunate we don't have the projectile, but it is what it is. And that leaves us with our guy here. Yes, he's a little bit of a parts former, but it doesn't make me angry since both of those parts really become his blaster and his shield. So I'm sort of cool with it. I haven't done this in a little while. Let's hope that I can actually do the transformation uh, and get him in his robot mode uh, well enough. How many things have been compromised here, I'm not sure, but I don't feel like it's as much as the other releases. I thought I would come in a little closer to start us off. So, let's begin on the back here by flipping down a leg and flipping in a paw and flipping up a foot. So the paw is like down into his foot. We're going to do the same over here. We straighten out the back paw. We come here and we should be able to flip out a leg and we make sure that the paw is in the leg. That is the lower body of this guy done. I'm going to stand him up, readjust the camera, and we'll continue with the upper body. By the way, probably worth noting he stands like an absolute champion. There are little heel spurs back here, but... Uh, they don't flip in on this one. I wonder if they flip in on the official one. I wouldn't know, honestly. And his feet, granted they should be black, but I'm okay with them being this white color. Doesn't bother me in the least. Okay, let's get going here. We unpeg the front paw. It's just a peg that goes up into a peg hole. And we'll do the same over here. Though I do find this one goes in tighter. So it, mm, yeah, I thought it was gonna be worse to come out, but it's not. Yay! We're going to take these pieces and flip them up on the side for now. And then we should be able to um, pick these ones up, I do believe. But they tab, yeah, they tab in tight. This, this peg goes in right here. And then we flip that down on the side. We come over here, and we got to do the same thing. It's pegged in, oh, man, that peg is tight. There we go, bring it down on the side. We can also collapse the body if you have not previously done that. Ooh, take that out. Collapse the body. And now we got those down like on his hip set. Then the arms here, they come out to the side and we open them down, out to the side, and we open that down. The, I guess front paw here, we rotate those down. I think they're supposed to like go in on the back of his arms, but they don't really do that here. So a little bit of a bummer, but not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Obviously, his chest is somewhat stylized because it, we don't have silver on the actual one. That silver detailing is blue. We also don't have this red detailing or this blue detailing on the official. Um, but I feel like there's, I don't know, maybe a, some like spikes or maybe it was some sort of gimmick or something like here in his tummy that should be out. I, I'm not sure if it's just spikes or if it's a gimmick. I really, really, really can't recall. Uh, then we only have the head. We split the head and bring it down here on the side. Now, a lot of people leave it like this. However, because they're on ball joints, what you really should do is turn them around and bring them down on his shoulder the way they're intended to go. So let me make sure I got that down. Then we have a, uh, a head that has a lot of blue on it that really doesn't look quite right. The arms are all white. The upper arm should be blue and the very lower forearm and fist should be blue as well uh, with only around the elbow area being white. So in robot mode, we definitely have some blue missing. 
um, and definitely more white. As for the head here, it's it's an it's an okay head, um, but it doesn't have the the mutant mask around it, and I'm pretty sure it's an alternate head than the one that he's supposed to have, which is mostly beige with uh, a black face and green eyes. That's not this head. I'm going to get in close on the head here, just so you can see how different it actually is from the official K9. As you can see, it's not even molded the same red eyes. This looks a lot more like a depth charge head or some such thing to me. I'm not sure who it is. If you know, let me know in the comments. Now I am going to take a guess and say it's probably the Wolfgang head, uh, as if his battle mask was on, because that's kind of what it looks like to me. I still don't think that that's quite right, but I feel like that's probably what they were going for. Like a... A canine body and a Wolfgang head? Maybe? Kinda? Um, either way, I'm going to say that in terms of looking like canine, it's not bad. I'm going to give it a solid... Oh man, I saw it and I knew it was canine. I'm going to give it a solid eight and a half. Honestly, I think it's pretty good. What about the, the transformation Well, we got here? No problem. I don't know if it's stylized from canine or not, but I think it's very smooth and shocking. Like, even with the tight pegs, I don't feel like I'm going to break anything. The plastic on this guy is the best of all of the KOs of the Beast Wars characters I've had. This one feels as close to official quality as I could hope for. As such, I'm going to say the transformation is pretty darn smooth for the most part. I'm going to give it a solid nine and a half. I, I think it's pretty great. It's involved enough to be interesting. You got a slider in the body. You know, the way the legs are done is, is interesting. The arms, they fold in on the body. Uh, you have to even twist the two halves of the head around to put them together. I mean, it's interesting. So we have an eight and a half, a nine and a half. The guy's getting a solid nine so far. Let's do the articulation. Uh, nothing at the head. A little bit of a bummer. Back of the head, by the way, is hollow, a la uh, some of the more recent core class offerings, like uh, Soundwave, for example. By the way, because I just happen to have this guy handy, um, here he is next to... Oh, he fell down. Here he is next to the Studio Series. Oh my goodness, they're all... Why are they all falling down on me? Stand up, you guys. Be cool. Be cool. Uh, so here he is next to Ironhide. Um, so I guess he's Voyager, right? Uh, oh, wait. No, he's a deluxe. Ironhide's probably a deluxe, too. Although he does have definitely more parts. I digress. Um, and I keep knocking him over now. Even though I swear he's solid on his feet. Really quite solid on his, on his feet. Nine overall. Let's do the articulation. The head does not move. These pieces certainly do move, which is great because it lets you get the arm really pretty far out. Uh, they can go all the way around. We have an elbow. I don't think that this one has like a bicep swivel or anything. No, but we do have a butterfly across the body. So that is something worth noting. I don't, I'm going to double check about a bicep swivel here. You know what? I take that back. He does have a bicep swivel right up by the shoulder and the back of the arm is hollow, but boy, oh boy, he does have it. And wow. Uh, waist, nothing at the waist, but I mean, the waist extends for transformation. So I, I get it. Uh, the hips. They're a little hindered, but honestly, I bet you that the official is a little hindered because that's just the way the molding is. But all the way forward, all the way back, I mean, a knee to well over 90 degrees, and I guess just a thigh wiggle up by the ball joint at the hip. But for a KO, for a $3 KO, I mean, come on, man. A $3 KO here at Canadian Retail at a dollar store. And I think the articulation, I'd like waste. Other than that, it's pretty much all there, certainly for the era. I'm going to say the articulation's a solid nine overall for a KO of this character. I mean, he's a solid, solid nine. By the way, if you have been sitting here wondering, hey, can he actually hold his shield and his blaster? Shield right here should fit in his hand. Let's double check that before we go. Yeah, in his hand, no problem. And then his tail blaster should also be able to fit in his hand. Yeah, 
No problem. Too bad, too bad he didn't come with the little projectile. He is an example of a cheap KO that just happens to be a fantastic KO. Overall score, 9, and I am one happy camper. And here we are once again. Here he is. So first things first, I think the coloration is respectable to the source material. I think the coloration is in some ways a little bit better, certainly around the torso than the original. I'm still not sure about the, he uh, the head if it's the mutant mask or if it's another head. I don't really care to be honest with you and I haven't looked it up that close. If somebody knows, feel free to comment down below in the comment section. Uh, in terms of the overall coloration, it's not bad. The fading isn't quite as pronounced on the KO as it is on the official and there's a couple of liberties taken with it, but nothing major. In terms of the transformation, it's general pretty smooth maybe the slider in the torso could be a touch better but it's involved you have a lot of moving parts and pieces here however everything tabs in very solid and very good on this KO who knew when we get to uh, robot mode or uh, dog mode I guess I guess that's what canine is right makes sense canine uh, honestly both modes are pretty rewarding uh, the articulation, really, really decent, with all the joints feeling generally solid, from the bicep swivel to the shoulder to the, uh, you know, thigh wiggle, I guess, and the knees. It's all pretty good. Yes, a waist would be nice. Yes, ankles would be nice, but I'm pretty sure that the original didn't have that either. It was just a sign of the times in the 90s. If you're going to only get one KO... I would go for either this guy or the KO of Air Razor. That said, since we have updated versions of Air Razor, whether you're going for Rise of the Beast or Kingdom, for example, I don't think we have an updated version of K9. Maybe he's due for one. And if you don't have an updated version, should you go back and hunt the original or just try and get the KO? Whichever is cheaper, because honestly, I think they're both pretty comparable. Let me know what you think about KO, K9. I appreciate you guys coming by, giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we have to offer to you through spring or, of course, hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button, man. Stick around, please, and thank you, and have some fun with us here on the channel. And don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single solitary day you right there you do make a difference in the world and i look forward to the next time that you and i get together to have another visit either in the live streams on thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old-fashioned way right here inside the videos